Um, our project is going to be on galaxy clusters. It's actually broken up into four different parts because, you know, we have to do a science fair project. So we want to be able to come up with a way to do it. But um, my, my question that I'm going to be answering is what is the difference, no, what is the relationship between distance and the two types of galaxies, which in this case are ellipticals and spirals. Okay, I mentioned this in my blog, but now I'm going brain. <laughs> um, I'm using the SDSS search SQL, and I'm looking up different <laughs> redshifts to figure out different distances and where like their galaxies are most or something like that. <laughs> okay, so um, once I got all that data from different distances and the different number of galaxies which are in those distances, I went to Excel and I graphed it. And I noticed that as the redshift got higher, the galaxies started to decrease, which is like everybody already knows because you know, the galaxies get fainter and stuff. But um, I then wanted to figure out what type of galaxies were in those clusters. So I changed up my search and I added color, which is the U and the R. I then, um, well, I searched it and then I graphed it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this was the this was the distance. So distance and the highest was five and this was zero. And it's increasing by point five up. I believe this But basically, it was like galaxies everywhere, like this. And um, since this is three, I noticed that on the upper half, those would be the red ones, and on the lower half, it would be the blue ones. Pressure. So, so if it's red on one side and blue on the other side, what's probably the thing you're graphing? Cover? Right. <laughs> oh, David. <laughs> on the y axis. The y -axis. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. See, color. <laughs> See, distance. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> Okay. So, now before lunch, anyway, I noticed that, um, well, I told myself that probably the spirals are going to be like lower than two and that the galaxy I mean I said galaxies the ellipticals are going to be three or higher but now I'm finding that there are um, spiral galaxies between 2.5 and 2 so now I have to finish the section yes. <coughs> Mine was to um, find the difference between the visible mass and the gravitational mass and clusters to find out how, how much dark matter there was. And then by looking at galaxy clusters and calculating the math by using the variant theorem. And then the first cluster I looked at, I found that there was a one-time difference between the gravitational and the visible. And then the second time I saw it was two times different. So in conclusion, so far, it shows that there is are, there's a kind of mass that is creating the gravitational force, but is believed to, that is believed to be dark matter. Okay, as you heard, like, so far this is two parts. My part is I'm coming in with the HI diagram for galaxies. So um, from what we learned for the HI diagrams for stars is that um, 
you could tell like based on magnitude and their color, like how young and how old they are. So I'm hoping to find out if we can find out the same thing with the galaxies. So from the information I collected so far, like there's galaxies mainly like in the middle and like of the graph. I'm still working on this stuff. Um, but the whole question I had was like what type is graph formed based off the comparing of galaxy clusters magnitude and color. And I used the, one of the clusters she's using for her part and it's adding on more points to the graph. Yeah, more on the presentation. Right. My part, I'm dealing with merging galaxies, and when two galaxies merge, it's like a trail between them two, and I'm trying to find out the distance between them. And I'm still working, looking at different mergers, but it's been hard because it's not a lot of them. So now, I'm just working on it for now.